Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Nick for this one. And yeah, after seeing how this ruling ended up for him, I can't blame him for wanting a second opinion. Amy casts Rise to Glory, choosing both modes. She wants to return Scavenging Harpy as her creature and Myers Grasp as her aura. Can she return the Myers Grasp attached to Nick's Grizzly Bears and then use the Scavenging Harpy's ETB ability to exile that Grizzly Bears from Nick's graveyard? Now, this is a really interesting question that requires careful reasoning to answer correctly. Let's go through exactly what happens step by step. With Rise to Glory, like any spell, you perform the instructions in the order that they're written. This means that when you're resolving Rise to Glory, you would return the Scavenging Harpy first and then the Myers Grasp. Another important fact that we'll need to answer this one is a bit about how triggered abilities work. Anytime the trigger event happens, the ability triggers, but it doesn't do anything at that point. The fairies who are in charge of triggered abilities just note that it triggered on their whiteboard. Anytime a player is about to get priority, the game will first perform any applicable state-based actions, and then any triggered abilities that are on the whiteboard would get moved onto the stack. If the triggered ability has any targets, those are chosen at this time, as part of the process of putting it on the stack. Now that we have all of that set, we're ready to answer the question from the original problem statement. When Rise to Glory resolves, Amy will return Scavenging Harpy to the battlefield, which causes its ability to trigger. Then she'll return the Myers Grasp. Then the game will perform state-based actions. Since Nick's Grizzly Bears has zero or less toughness, it's put into Nick's graveyard. After that, the game sees that the Scavenging Harpy trigger is on the whiteboard, and it moves it to the stack. This is the time when Amy declares the target for this ability, so she can indeed choose the Grizzly Bears because it is in the graveyard at this point, even though it wasn't there when the ability actually triggered. Let's try a challenge question to test your understanding. We'll say that we have the exact same setup as before, except this time Amy is returning a Death Gorge Scavenger, which, unlike the Harpy, can exile cards from any graveyard. Would Amy be able to exile her own Rise to Glory? Would she be able to exile her own Myers Grasp? Well, we already have a good foundation to build on, but to answer this, we'll need a couple more pieces of information. When a spell is resolving, the very last step of its resolution, after all the other instructions have been performed, is to put it into its owner's graveyard. I glossed over this in my original description of what was happening, but this means that the Rise to Glory would be put into Amy's graveyard after she returns the Myers Grasp to play, but before any state-based actions are performed. And, speaking of state-based actions, the thing that puts auras that are not enchanting anything into their owner's graveyard is also a state-based action, one that will become relevant after the game performs state-based actions for the first time, since the Grizzly Bears will be put into Nick's graveyard. Now, the way that works is that the game performs state-based actions, and it repeats that check afterwards, and performs state-based actions again if necessary. The game will do this until it goes through a check and has no state-based actions to perform, and only then will triggered abilities be put onto the stack. Therefore, the Myers Grasp would go to Amy's graveyard before she has to choose a target for Death Gorge or Scavenger's ability. And so now we can say that it would be possible to exile either of those cards with the ability. Based on our previous discussion, it would also be possible to return the Death Gorge Scavenger to play, return Myers Grasp attached to it, and then use the Death Gorge Scavenger's own ability to exile itself from your graveyard. Pretty cool, right? And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. Until then, I hope you have a great day.